Good morning. My name is Keith Hardy. I've represented neighborhoods and all sorts of issues for about the last 15 years. And I've uh, been active in this development of the CZO. And I'm going to speak to you today about some changes that I think need to be made in this final draft. New Orleans is a city of unique neighborhoods. The master plan recognizes that, guaranteeing in its first pages that land uses will be, quote, tailored to the character, conditions, and needs of specific neighborhoods. Unfortunately, the proposed CZO breaks those promises by allowing every restaurant from Lake Kaplan to the Jefferson Parish line to Algiers to stay open as late as 2 a.m. to serve alcohol without obtaining a conditional use permit and to host live music. Instead of recognizing the differences between neighborhoods, the proposed CZO will impose a one-size-fits-all template, threatening to add quiet neighborhood restaurants to the growing list of late-night tourist traps. The proposed CZO will also allow non-amplified music in every restaurant, coffee house, bakery, and ice cream parlor in town, while restaurants with live music on Frenchman Street are subject to a number of restrictions, including hours of music, types of uh, groups that can play, and, and, and closed door limitations. There are absolutely no limitations on these new rules governing live music, even though it will expand live music to neighborhoods which have not historically catered to the tourist market. The city council needs to fix the CZO. It needs to do what the master plan requires, ensuring that each neighborhood is regulated in a way that reflects its own unique characteristics and not imposing blanket rules that fail to account for the differences in our historic neighborhoods. Now, Mark Gonzalez is now going to make a final comment. 